When you're giving a talk, who or what should you focus on? No, it's definitely not the slides. The audience should be your central focus for any talk. Without an audience, it's just a practice session. If you're only paying attention to your slides or just a couple of people, your audience will think you don't care about the rest of them. An audience that doesn't feel engaged gets distracted. They'll check their phone, think about what they'd like to eat, wonder if the carpet in here would look good at home, or they'll just get up and walk away. Focus on the audience to be a good presenter. How? Well, obey these four rules to focus true. First rule, appear to look at each member of the audience. In a small room, make eye contact with each face for a second or two and repeat back and forth. If you find direct eye contact intimidating, well, just focus on your listeners' foreheads. As a room gets larger or you can't pick out individuals, scan back and forth calmly, passively taking in the room span. Now, a quick caveat for this first rule. Your slides are not audience members. Talking to your slides has you disengaged from the audience, turning your back on them sometimes, and they will then likewise stop paying attention to you. How do you learn to not talk to your slides? You practice your delivery so many times you know exactly what is showing when. And the slides themselves have a clean design that's easy to take in. Second rule. Appear comfortable on stage. After all, you've practiced your talk and you're happy to share it with the audience. Maintain an open face. Raise your eyebrows and don't frown, but smile even. A calm and cheerful presenter is psychologically engaging to any audience. Stand straight, but not rigid, and move around a little. Even subtle motion keeps the audience's attention more constant. But be conservative in your movements most of the time. Continued movement will make you appear nervous. Nervousness spreads, meaning the audience will divert their attention from that point of stress, you. Third rule. Notice how top-notch speakers open their arms when they welcome an audience to the talk? That collecting of attention does just that, collects attention and shows you are focused on the audience. Now, just like slides, gestures are visual elements that add meaning. How big was the fish? This big. How many steps in the procedure? One, then two, then three, and then four. To learn how much movement to use, record yourself giving a talk and watch carefully. Practice in front of trusted friends or colleagues and ask for their honest opinion on what works and what doesn't. Also, have a look at the most viewed TED Talks. Study how the speakers move and gesture. Experiment with what works for your style, and then practice some more. All right, you're focused on your audience. Tune in to the next two videos for tips on what to show and tell.